so I'm going to uh, go to my truck, grab my truck, bring it in, and uh, install that uh, LED light bar off the factory switches, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so <clears throat> we got this uh, LED light bar from uh, one of our YouTube uh, people, and we're going to uh, going to do a little bit of a review on it. Um, upon unboxing of this thing, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not a bullshit kind of guy. I'm going to tell you how it is. Um, so the light itself is actually, you know, real nice packaging. Uh, it did come with these things all packed in there nicely. I've had it out, but um, the light itself looks really good. Looks pretty solid. Um, comes with some decent mounting brackets. Um, the the only real concern I have is this harness. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan that it you know literally popped out of the. Uh, of the little pins there but you know it it is what it is uh, I, I could fix that if I wanted to but you know if you're buying this offline you know and you wanted to just like install it at your house it's probably not uh, not the best um, but uh, you know in my situation I'm gonna be uh, actually installing it <clears throat> see Ford Ford had this nice little idea of maybe we should install some some switches right there and there's uh, there's actually two 30 amp switches and two 10 amp switches uh, so I'm gonna figure out which ones those are uh, I have to get in behind the glove box or the uh, panel here and uh, there's some wires in behind there maybe another video I'll show you how to uh, actually run a high idle off this thing um, off one of those switches as well which is kind of handy um, not that I would really use it but why not, I guess. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna just figure out where I wanna put this light exactly, and uh, then run the wires and just kinda go from there. So what I like to do is, uh, <clears throat> you know, make sure that, you know, before I drill the holes, I'm gonna find where I wanna put, where I wanna mount this in conjunction to the actual spot itself here. Um, where I'm going to run my wires I'm just going to kind of plan ahead and um, just so it looks clean um, it's accessible if I want to remove it I can um, you know if I got to you know do something with the truck these power strokes are uh, you know a real pain in the dick sometimes so I want to be able to remove it if I want to um, yeah so we're going to go from there so what I've done is I uh, just found center off these holes here um, and uh, you know measured out where I want to go and uh, yeah I'm going to drill the holes in accordance to the you know size of the bolt. They did provide us with bolts which is really nice and uh, I'm going to get it mounted and uh, show you what it looks like after. Alright so I figured I'd try and set this up so I can show you where I'm drilling and what uh, <clears throat> what kind of tool I'm using and uh, may or may not work but let's give her a shot I like to use a little bit of grease and a you know step bit to start it off here oh well, that works
time to get a new step bit, I think. Motherfucker. All right, found a drill bit. This thing should eat through it. A little lube on there. Yeah, yeah, I like the lube. I like the lube. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, so the holes are drilled. Bolts will go in there. That's nah, a little big, but it'll be fine. Room for adjustment. We'll call it that. All right, so what I what I like about this product so far, um, I mean, it gives you all the bolts that you need. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you're adjusting these, it's a real pain in the ass. Um, these bolts, you know, they slide in there into the grooves. You don't need to, you know, retain a, uh, or uh, find a, uh, you know, a way to hold that bolt into place just going to do it underneath so all you have to do is tighten it up afterwards and uh yeah so put that back on there okay. just snug it in place i'll go and uh just kind of line it back up where i want it and then i'll tighten these back down and uh yeah should be good to go for mounting all right, so I got it pretty centered there. Uh, I just noticed that my uh, my bumper is actually kind of off a little bit, kind of hard to really see, um, you know, when you're looking at it. But uh, you know, there's a, you know, where this line is up in here is kind of this way, and this one's pretty much like lined right up. So I'm, you know, the bumper is kind of supposed to be like going that direction a little bit. What more do you want? It's a fucking truck. I'm not, uh, I'm not too, you know, worried about it. But uh, you know, lining this thing up is a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, so she looks pretty good right now. Um, one thing I don't like about this product, uh, there's a lot of benefits to it. You know, working with it works okay. Um, very hard to adjust afterwards if I wanted to. Um, you know, move it up and down later. I can't really do it because that bolt is like hidden back behind everything. Um, maybe in another vehicle it might work better. Uh, but where I'm placing this, you need to have, uh, you know, you, you want to be able to access it. But I mean, it is what it is. Um, the other thing is. Um, Seems to be some some uh, separate LED pieces in here. Uh, we got a whole strip of LEDs up until we get to here, and then there's another pack of LEDs till we get to here. So I mean, visually from a distance, you can't tell. I'm I'm kind of uh, anal sometimes, so I I notice these things. But you know what, that's why I'm doing the review on this. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad product by any means. Um, but, you know, uh, you send me something to review, I'm gonna review it. I'll tell you how it is, all right? But I'm still gonna use it, don't worry. Me in love, me in love with LED strip. All right, so I got her all mounted up here. Uh, she's pretty stiff, nice and solid. Ended up running the, uh, the wire through a grommet there. I don't know if you can really see it. It's just hanging down here for now until I figure out where I'm going to run it inside. These, like I said earlier, these Fords have uh, some accessory powers, so I don't have to run it through the grommet. I just have to uh, kind of figure it out inside the vehicle. Um, it's actually really easy. Uh, you can use that, any of these wires for anything, really. Um, they're located inside. You just have to tap into them uh, through the back of the fuse panel there. Um, yeah, so we'll get onto that when I have a minute here, and that'll be it. All right, guys. So uh, back to the ta task at hand. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, I just did a quick little uh, smart start module on a Rav4. Um, I didn't want to bore you with that shit, so I'm going to bore you with this shit. Um, 
So yeah, I got that all installed there. Uh, I'm gonna end up looking for the wires under here. I'm gonna pull these 10 mils out um, and use those switches over there. And uh, yeah, let's see what I can do when I pull that stuff out. this all pulled out nice and clean behind here like any truck <laughs> anyways so you'll see cool thing about these a little ca cable pack in here it's actually taped up it says aux aux one two three it actually tells you which ones to use uh, if you want to go 30 amp uh, the 30 amps are the big ones that's another easy way to tell and uh, the um, 10 amps are the small ones. So I think for this, uh, I do plan on putting more lights on in the front using the same switch. Uh, I'll probably use the 30 amp, and then I'll also use a 30 amp in the future to uh, run my high idle, uh, which I believe, I don't know, I gotta look at it, it's dirty, but I think the high idle's a four or three. Anyways, enough of that boring shit. Okay, so got the sticker off. Um, I don't know if you can really see it or not, but it says uh, Ox One is orange, light green, uh, and that's a big wire. Uh, orange is uh, number two. So I'm going to use uh, the orange wire. Uh, because I want to put my high idle on um, the first switch so I know which one it is um, and then uh, I can use accessories for other things for the 10 amp fuses if I wanted to you know get all get all redneck gangster and put on like LEDs on the bottom of my truck you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying ah! also um, the wire I'm going to hook this up to is actually tucked in way back there. There's a bunch of, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of wires up in here. If I had a light, I'm sure I could show you. They're all dangling here. But, uh, oh, I'm being summoned. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to hook them up to one of the uh, red wire back there, I believe. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, sorry about the rattle, the shake, and whatever's, whatever's going on with this thing. I've got it on some weird-ass stand. Um, yeah, I'm going to hook the orange wire up to the red. I should be able to switch the switch up here, and it'll give me 12 volts up front underneath the hood on the red wire that I showed you earlier. Okay, so let me go see what, what uh, Papa Sandu wants and uh, get back at this. All right. So what I've done is uh, just extended the wire a little bit, wrapped it up, soldered it up, that kind of fun stuff. I'm just gonna st stick it back in there. Once I get this fuse panel back in, I'm just gonna double check, make sure that it's working properly, that kind of thing. Um, there should be fuses in it for us to uh, use it as we want. They are capped off, but whatever. Anyways, let's shove this back in here. Good. 
kind of fit in here funny, but it is what it is. It's like an afterthought from Ford, but whatever. It works. This is my own opinion. Everybody's entitled to one. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Uh, you know, it's my first one. hanging down like that. I can see the wire that I want to use. So I'm just gonna put this back up. And then we'll maybe just move it down here. I don't know if we can see it or not. This wire here should be my whatever. And then there's this blue wire. And there should be a couple more here kicking around. I want to tie it into this red wire. And this red wire goes right to the inside of the cab. And uh, you know, I can hook this up the way I want to right now. And if I want to change it, I know that, you know, the 30 amps already hooked up underneath the cab I can always change it to put a set of different lights on there or whatever I know I mean you I could use the 10 amp but I, I figure I'm gonna put some more lights up there anyways and yeah so 30 amps fine but yeah I'll hook that up and we'll test her under the hood all right so <clears throat> You're gonna, I hooked it up to this red wire underneath the truck, or sorry, underneath the dash. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my test light, put it on the negative terminal here. It's a computer safe test light, so I'm not worried about anything. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, uh, normally I'd unhook the battery with this uh, customer's vehicle, um, but I was pretty confident with my own. I'm not too worried about it. If I break it, I fix it. So. Um, either way, let me test her out. I'm going to turn the ignition on in the truck and uh, see if we get 12 volts. Seven, but oh, 11 8. This is good news, <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So, what I'll do is I'll run the wires from the LED bar up to here, ground it to the chassis, maybe run my constant right there, and uh, sorry, constant switch power, and uh, we'll give her a test. Step wagon's kind of a lame car. Yeah, that's all right. So, what I'm doing here, uh, so I told you earlier that I was going to make a quick disconnect. Uh, basically, it's semi permanent. I don't want any water getting in. So, I just use the uh, waterproof connectors, but I also just heat shrunk it, some zip ties on it. You know, if I ever wanted to take it off, it'd be easier than, you know, cutting the wires and fucking around, doing all that kind of stuff. Anyways, so I'm gonna run these wires up, I'm gonna wrap them, make it look pretty, and uh, hook them up and show you. So Craig, you want to look pretty or what? I, I think you have a pretty mouth. You, I, I have a pretty mouth. With that well, what you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've been told I'm a sexy man. You are a sexy man. Uh, You're extra sexy when you work. Extra is this sexy? your truck? This is my truck. And that's the test light bar. This is the test light bar. Yeah, we're nice. going to give her a whirly gig here and uh, see how bright that is. See how bright it is, yeah. 
Fish this up in here. Not that you can really see. But if you look at my pretty face when I'm doing it, maybe. Oh my hat. through here. Actually, there. Okay. This tape I'm using is a uh, Tessa tape. Um, it's a uh, high heat, waterproof. It's kind of like wrapping your uh, wire in a uh, like a loom. Really sticky. Uh, the longer it stays on, the harder it actually uh, you know stays on. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the hotter, the the more stickier it gets, the better it gets. I guess. But anyways. Enough of me fucking talking. Let me get this done. Location for that wire. Grab a few zippity ties. I think half the time I talk to myself, anyways, when I'm doing this, so this isn't really too bad. Just actually talking to myself. Try not to answer myself, which is usually pretty good, but sometimes I just can't guarantee it. Anyways, guys, I'll show you what I did there. So I ran the wires up through underneath here, through this grommet, up and through the, the uh, front of the truck. 
against this factory line the, uh, for the hood release. And then I'm going to run the wire and ground it to chassis here and tie in this red wire here. And I'll still have three wires up front to do whatever I want with. So that's that. So what I'm going to do from this point forward, I'm just going to finish this up and uh, then I'll test it for you guys and you know I'll do my final thoughts on the product and uh, it'll be I believe it for the day uh, we do have some small stuff coming in later on but um, I think I've filled enough of your time today you get the Damien fill today you got a big D filler um, Gallon wanted to uh, he uh, texted me this morning and he's like you know people want to see the D I was a little concerned at the first like I didn't know if you wanted to see my D or the D there's two different ones and I don't think my girlfriend would like you to see the D uh, or my D anyways on that note let me finish this up uh, and uh, we'll test her out soldering up the last connection here nothing too exciting but so the PS3 resistors. Craig's leaving. Naked. Leaving, leaving naked. naked. Bye, Craig. Have a great day, buddy. All right, so let me uh, say about this process. Uh, it was actually uh, not bad. Um, I think you could probably do it in your backyard um, or driveway um, with the right tools. Uh, the light bar itself. I mean, you know, it was really, uh, really good to install. Um, the company is OERO, and uh, I'm a brave man, so, you know, like, brave man that right up. Um, so, the light bars are fixed, uh, wires all running up through here. I did my. Uh, my ground right about here, the factory ground, and the wire zip tied it into place. I'll show you that it works. I'll turn on the uh, ignition. I put it on aux two. Leonardo. Go to the front. Look at that! Look at that, boys! Wow, that's bright. Uh, that'll do the job, that's for sure. I mean, it is a good product. I can't really say too much about it. Um, installed easy. It works. What more do you want? So, on that note, that'll be the video for today. Just want to say thanks, guys, for watching. Um, I'll try and do some more videos in the future. I'm a pretty busy guy. Um, Carponics is a very busy business, and uh, I'm usually swamped all day long. Uh, Gatlin provided me with the opportunity to do a YouTube video. I said, sure, you know, you guys are, uh, are helping us out. Um, and uh, don't forget to, you know, finger bang that like button, subscribe, hit the dingle bell. Just more subscribers, the better, the better, you know, more, uh, We'll get more content. Um, you guys, you know, if you want me to do something else, if you have anything uh, you're interested in, uh, just, you know, leave in the comments. Uh, I read every comment. Um, I don't respond to all of them, but, you know, I get a kick out of some of them. They're pretty funny. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I, I love you guys. So uh, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, Carponics out.